Hey there everyone, thanks for stopping in. Today I want to show you some of the newest splice tape that hit the market in many years. It's called Double Edge Splice Tape and I'm going to show you how to use it today with our table mounted multi jig which handles 8 to 72 millimeter tape. The tape I'm going to show you is specific to emitter and receiver type smart feeders that you'd find on Panasonic, Yamaha and the new Juki machines. So let's go watch the video together. We're going to start out cutting our 8 millimeter tape using a scissor type cutter. This cutter has 4 millimeter pitch pins and 2 millimeter pitch pins for guiding the tape for a perfect cut. This 8 millimeter tape has 4 millimeter pitch sprocket holes. So we cut that. And as we Move up to doing our splice. We're going to show you the new multi jig. This multi jig can do 8 to 72 millimeter tape on the same jig. The first four sizes, 8 through 24, are done with just the block up here. 32 through 72 millimeter are used with the adjustable block down here. So when you go to do your splice, this is the Panasonic splice. You use putting the sprocket holes through these teeth up here and you work with the black part right here facing down and you put the splice facing down so it goes in like this you remove the protective tape then you put your splice in like this guiding it on those pins like this then you put your second piece in on the pins like this and then you push down well, pull this off the block. When you do that, again you have the perforations here to give you a perfect alignment. Put that on, pull the protective tape off. And again you'll notice that we have the cover over the sprocket teeth so the emitter and receiver cells can't see each other. Good seal. And you pull off and it'll take both pieces off like this and we still have a firm seal. When we go to our 32 millimeter tape we're going to use the guillotine color cutters that can do 8 to 32 millimeter with 2, 4, and 8 millimeter pins. This is a 32 millimeter tape so it's going to go on 8 millimeter pitch. You push down and cut the tape. When you do that you're going to put your splice into your multi jig. Again, it's black for Panasonic. And you work the jig up to 32 millimeter. And you're going to work with this facing down and the black part seated like this. You put the splice onto your jig. Remove the protective tape like this. When you put your tape in, you put it on the guide pin, the sprocket pins like this. It gives you perfect alignment. All you do is pull this all off. This side goes over and covers the sprocket holes like we've done before. Like this. Again, you have the self-alignment on this side. So all you do is pinch it in. It will self-align. Go right over the sprocket holes. Once you have that on, you pull the protective piece off. Make sure it's done. And as you go through your feeder, You'll see it works like that. I want to thank everybody for stopping by the classroom today. Please remember that Smart Splice is the only full service tape splicing company in the industry. And we back that claim with video meetings, webinars, and even a personal visit from yours truly, Professor Splice. All you need to do is contact me at the university or right here. Thank you.